Hello everyone and welcome back to Extra Play. We're gonna play a little bit more Bound because it's just so darn pretty and chill. This is exactly what I needed today. So glad I chose to record this instead of the next Sonic game <laughs> today. I've just been feeling a little tired this week and I don't know. After that Sonic Adventure 2 fiasco. I don't know if I have a Sonic game in me right now. Who knows, maybe Sonic Heroes won't be so bad. We'll see. But first, we'll... Okay, there we go. So I can't go into this one. But I can go into this one. Let's do it. Hmm. Things are getting more dreary. And scary. Oh, I love that! What a cool, shocked reaction move. I do realize this this sort of game is certainly not for everybody. Like, it is... much more a... Well, it's in that, sort of, that game company category of games. It's... much more an experience than any sort of challenge or, uh, puzzle or, uh, test of your dexterity. But, I don't know, I, I like games like this. Not to say I'm good at them, but, you know. I like games like this. I enjoy playing a game that's just a... audio-visual... Like, an interactive audio-visual experience. Every now and again. And I feel that we are... There's a certain kinds of games that sort of fall into a, uh... That sort of get, turn into black sheep <laughs> within the, uh... Within the gaming culture at times, which I'm not always... I'm not always on board with that. And, and it kind of comes and goes what we all collectively decide we do and don't like, like, uh... We hit a point where we... Cutscenes were cool and exciting, and then we all decided that... Oh, oops, bad. <laughs> and we all decided... Better to do things without cutscenes, and then that quickly turned into never use cutscenes, and then... We deride the Metal Gears and the Uncharted's for being more movie than game. And... I don't know, I... I like having some kinds of games that are out there being, like, movie game hybrids. Or ones that are, like, Walking Simulators is a dumb name for a genre. <laughs> like, and it's... And it seems like it's just kind of sticking now, which makes me sad. There's room for all kinds of interactive experiences, y'all. Games can be a lot of things. And it's totally okay if you don't like all of them. Like, I don't like every kind of movie. Certainly don't like every kind of book. I don't like every period in art history. But I'm glad that all of these media have the capacity to contain all those things. Anyway. I'm rambling again. This is a good game for rambling. Like, I'm not having to concentrate super hard on what I'm doing. Like, Dark Souls is a game of 
react just me literally reacting to every single thing <laughs> because that's what that game is and I'm having to stay 100% focused on what I'm doing in any given second. Sonic is me desperately trying to react and keep up with everything that's happening, and usually failing to do so. But this, like, the where I'm supposed to go is pretty clear, the how to get there is fairly simple and straightforward. And I can just experience it, which is nice. This music is awesome, too. Something over here. Let's see. I would love to hear sometime, like, what sort of interesting tech is involved in just all of this cube background and uh, environment animation stuff. I probably wouldn't understand a half of it. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be able to follow a fraction of it, but just the same. It's really neat looking. Oh hey, I've figured out who the developer of this was. It's a studio called Plastic. And it was published by Sony. Uh, Sony Interactive, I think. So now we know. Good work, Plastic. Excited to see what you do next. Oop, there we go. Ah, shaking her head because she's in the rain. Nice environmental touch. Alright, let's go. Uh, nope, didn't quite get through that one. <laughs> Yeah, the thing that most often gets me is these jumps. Oh no. Okay, getting intense. Kind of between two intense things right now. But you can't keep up. I'm too fast for you. That's right. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that jump almost didn't go so well. Yeah, the platforming and jumping puzzles in the... Well, not the puzzles, just jumping challenges in this are not its, uh... Are not the game's strength. But this is awesome. How many games do you get to do that sort of cool thing? What's this now? Can I get down? Hmm. I want to get down there, but... Uh, let's try it. Nope. Okay. Uh, come on. Break on through to the other side. Yeah. Nope. Oh, path is blocked by fears. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Okay. That adds a new dimension to this. Each of these levels almost feels like I am, and it may be because I'm, it may feel this way because I am starting in, like, the same room each time. But it feels like each of these levels is sort of, uh, navigating the same space, just a new twist on it each time. I can't tell if that's what it actually is, but it feels that way. Out here. Garage. Okay, so... We have the parents fighting in the garage. Okay, so we have the... Kids seeing the parents fighting in the garage. Okay. Such a cool effect. I am a sucker for cool art. And that is something I absolutely know about myself. happening here. Hmm. Oh, we get to do a fun thing. We doing it. Yeah. There's nothing to this, really, gameplay-wise, but I love it every time. Games are neat, you guys. And I like all the things they can be. I'm getting closer to that door every time. And getting closer to this one, too, I think.
Getting closer. pages left do we have of this? We got one, two, three. Oh, just three. No, yeah, we could actually finish this. If you all are interested. Or I guess if I... I mean, I can record it either way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's call it it for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and, uh, if you all are interested and uh, would like to see the rest of this, just let me know. And we'll see what's left. See you next time.